And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media, always providing you the timely truth, 80 plus categories of consumer advocate content daily, 5 o'clock drive time right here on 1380 The Biz. Got our weekend show on FM 1025 The Bone, and of course you can follow us on Apple iTunes. We got our iTunes podcast out there, uh, at Brandon Rhymes 1 on Instagram and Twitter, of course Facebook, Consumer Quarterback Show pages out there, uh, but most importantly our Consumer Advocate Hotline is where we want you to call, text. Uh, reach out, and we want to help you win in any marketplace. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Save our hotline number in your phone, 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372. That's our Consumer Advocate Hotline. That's our off-air number. You can contact us anytime there on that number by text or uh, by calling. Also, bookmark our website, ConsumerQB.com. A plethora of information available for you on our website at consumerqb.com and we want to help you win no matter what you're facing uh, out there we've set up this show as a consumer advocate based program everything from real estate finance estate and tax planning credit improvement self defense and so much more uh, right here on the consumer quarterback show and we want to invite you as you know we have these quarterly parties some awesome events from time to time and we got a big one coming up next week it's on Thursday the 27th Tampa Bay's largest speed networking event And it's 6 p.m. at the Verizon Center in Largo. And we are going to have award-winning catered food from Amici's Catered Cuisine. Spunky Spirits bartender as well. Going to be pouring some drinks out there. Going to be some great networking opportunities for you. Make some connections to grow your income, grow your wealth. And it's all on eventbrite.com. By the way, it's a free event. And we are hosting a raffle that's going to be benefiting Children's Cancer Center. So if you're a business owner there, if you want to donate something that that we can raffle off, uh, it's going to be great because you're going to get recognition at the party, at the event, and it's also going to go to the Children's Cancer Center, one of our uh, charitable partners here on the Consumer Quarterback Show and Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Save that date, the 27th, 6 o'clock. We want you there at the Verizon Event Center. By the way, we have over 140 people registered for this event, and uh, we are limiting to uh, 150. So reach out at eventbrite.com or consumerqb.com. This segment is brought to you by the Bill Maher Beach Resort. Uh, the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show, the Bill Maher Beach Resort on beautiful Treasure Island, filled with fantastic and generous amenities to make your vacation that much more special. The Bill Maher Beach Resort has one been, been one of the most sought-after destinations uh, in the Tampa Bay area for many, many years. And they've got the uh, restaurant on site, Sloppy Joe's Restaurant, the bar, uh, the huge beach. Uh, Clyde Smith, the general manager, jokingly calls it a two-beer beach. You can literally walk uh, from the hotel to the beach there and take you two beers, he says depending on your pace uh, to get out there. Now, big shout-out to the Bill Maher Beach Resort as well because they donated a weekend stay uh, for our raffle at our event. So if you come to the event, you buy a raffle ticket, you might win a whole weekend stay over there at the Bill Maher Beach Resort. And, again, that's benefiting Children's Cancer Center. All right, it's Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today. William Crowley back in studio. Credit restoration, the credit man, a.k.a. the the credit magician. That's it, credit magician on the radio, credit man. In the hood, baby. Yeah, I'm back. Right. I'm back. That's right. Y'all got me fired up now. We was talking about the guns in the last show. I'm ready to go on this credit now. Yeah, Let's man. Go, baby. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let yep. people know how to be proactive. We're going to talk about the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, all the consumer laws that protect you. Yeah, man. I like all that. Right. Sometimes you got to call an audible, right? That's right. But remember Peyton. <laughs> <laughs> we got Alex Lima in the house as well, Black Belt Fitness. Welcome back, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Always great to be here. Yeah, man. I got to tell you, just from firsthand experience now, working with you and seeing how you work with the children too, man, you got a lot of great talents, bro. Thank Doing you, a great man. Job, I appreciate man. that, brother. Thank yeah. you, man. 
Absolutely, helping out. So you got your summer camp full swing right now? Yeah, yeah, super busy, super crazy, man. Those kids are getting that work in, and we're having fun too. But they're they're putting in two day workouts. I mean, they're they're getting they're getting busy. Nice. They're not just sitting around playing video games or you know eating junk food all day. Good. Yeah, yeah. that's good, man. Keeping the kids active, also doing classes uh, or one on one training for adults of all yeah. ages. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still have yeah. While the summer uh, program is going on, we still have our private lessons. You know, time slots going on, and also my my group training for for the adults in the evening as well. Nice. I like that. Good stuff, man. Yeah, it's one of those things we William was kind of commenting on yesterday's show. We were talking with uh, uh, Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy, is mm-hmm. mentioning how he got fired up. But yeah, it's one of the, there's you know that's why I like this show, man, because we're bringing out these things that people yeah. don't talk about all the time. And mm-hmm. uh, we're talking about U.S. Texas Law Shield. Uh, you know, if you have to pull your gun, and you know, and since self defense is a topic today, you know, on the show, it's it's one of those things, man, that it's one of the you, you don't think it's going to happen to you, and then all of a sudden it does, or a family member, and then it's like wow. Wow, what do I do now? And you're kind of in, you're playing catch up instead of being a proactive. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I, I always tell people, I'm like, you know, I, I promise you someone that was attacked, they didn't wake up that day thinking that they were going to be attacked. Yes. You know, you, right. it's not your intention for the day. Yeah. You know? So it's better to, to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. That's always, right. Whether it be firearm training, self-defense training. Yeah. You know? You have to be prepared. Sometimes you got to open the can up. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you got to bring that can. Yeah. That's right. All right. A couple of hot property listings here. Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. A couple of hot new listings here. Uh, 4309 Frierson Avenue here in Tampa. Now, this property, it is a great investment opportunity. Looking for that builder, that developer. You got an opportunity to build two quadplexes uh, here in Tampa. Tampa Bay, 4309 East Frierson Avenue in Tampa. Great location, and this what a great opportunity to build and develop this property here in Tampa Bay. Check out PlatinumMVPTeam.com for all of our real estate listings, PlatinumMVPTeam.com. Also, just listed 9200 Gun Highway in Odessa. This is a busy corner intersection at 9200 Gun Highway in Odessa. It's a corner of Racetrack Road and Gun Highway, and the owner tells me that it's one of the last uh, it is the last corner that is not developed from Hillsborough County all the way up to Pasco on Gun Highway. But that's a huge opportunity. Uh, think about the potential for any type of development. Could be office, could be gas stations, could be, who knows, a Wawa, something in there. But a great opportunity. Reach out to the Platinum MVP team. Uh, we'd love to connect with you and check out PlatinumMVPTeam.com. All right, let's jump right into it. We got William Crowley in the house here, credit restoration, helping people understand more about their different uh, decisions. You know, and credit affects so many different things these days, whether you're looking to buy a house, a car, uh, insurance. A lot of times jobs are pre screening now with their credit reports. William, what are you yeah. seeing out there, man? I think they should, though. I, I, I'm, mm-hmm. A lot of times people get the wrong impression like I'm just uh, on the side of corporate America when it's talking about people that's had damaged credit. I mean, I want people with damaged credit to be proactive mm-hmm. and start to take care of their credit, become fiscally responsible. Mm-hmm. I'm, not that, I'm not just saying, look, here's a loophole, and I go ahead and screw the system. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to help you to overturn those circumstances, but now it's time for you to start, you know, uh, you know, becoming responsible. So that's yeah. what our program's about, not t- trying to teach people how to beat the system, yeah. but how to work within the system legally, okay? Yeah. Now, people, people have bad credit. They're not necessarily bad people, right. but at the same time, they've had some hiccups in their life. So I, what I want to be able to do is to show people, look, okay, you've had some hiccups. You've had a bankruptcy, a tax lien, late payment, judgment, inquiry, whatever. And I tell people all the time, if it's yours, then come see me, okay? I can help you to get a lot of that information off the credit report. If it's not yours, then file a police report. More than likely, you've been a victim of identity theft. Mm-hmm. So go and... Uh, you know, uh, submit the information to the police department, then you can submit it to the credit reporting agency and get your le- life back online. But most time people wow. come to me, their credit is legitimately bad, it's legitimately their information. So what I want to be able to show people is through the Fair Credit Reporting Act, look, yes, you have damaged credits, maybe holding you back from getting a good interest rate on your house, get a job, job promotion, et cetera, you know, insurance rates, et cetera. So Here's some things that you can, some nugget, bits and nuggets that you may not be familiar with that you should use to uh, legally repair your, restore your credit and then get back on the right track and then don't do it again. <laughs> okay? Clean it up, keep it clean. <laughs> right. Up. But if you do, you're going to keep me in business. So, so, it's but here's of, a, you know, people ironic. have, but the, the challenge is, you know, yes, yeah, sometimes people 
choose not to pay the bill. Yeah. Uh, but then sometimes they have a life event. They have a death, divorce, yes. bankruptcy, tax sale, all these different situations of foreclosure that could happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so William Crowley, the credit magician, can help you if you, or maybe it's not you, maybe it's a loved one of yours, you know, out, exactly. out there. You know, think about, think a layer deeper. Think about that person you might be able to introduce to William Crowley, uh, the credit magician, longtime friend of the program, over five years on air with us now oh, as yeah. a, a longtime partner. Now, you just said something that was kind of intriguing to me. Identity theft. Something happens. Yeah. You actually call the police and make a report on that. Always. Anytime mm-hmm. you're a victim of identity theft, mm-hmm. definitely get in touch with the police department. Let them know. And then when the police department gives you the documentation, immediately send that to the credit reporting agency. Mm. Now, what a lot of people don't know as well is that the biggest perpetrator of identity theft is the credit reporting agencies themselves. Mm. Okay? Mm. So people should put a promo. I know it's going to be part of the package, but let me just go ahead and tell people. Yep. Put a promotional block on your credit report. Everybody should have a promotional block on their Social Security number when you're dealing with the credit reporting agencies. A promotional block is a free service, and the credit reporting agencies do not promote it. They're not going to tell you about it, but we should know about it. A yeah. promotional block would take you off of the credit reporting agencies list. Mm. They have this list where they make a... Mm, I would say billions of dollars just marketing your information. And they're not giving you a cut. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. there's no reason why we should be, you know, uh, be, you know, uh, allowing them to sell our information. Yeah. Okay. And when they sell your information, there's no discretion at all. The, the t- person with the right dollar amount can buy your information and do whatever they want with your credit. They, yeah. You don't know what they're doing with it. Wow. So therefore, if you get to put a promotional block on your credit report, you take your name off that list. Mm. Lessens your visibility. And then, you know, you can you can start to apply for your own credit if you do need a credit or whatever. But when you take get, get taken off that promotional list, yeah. it's going to stop the – lessen your visibility, stop the credit reporting agencies from just marketing your information to yeah. any and everybody. How do you go about doing that? Cut off your you junk mail. The promo- what, you want part of the pack? Well, here. Yeah, to cut off that you call junk this mail number, to yeah. Yeah, Do exactly. opt-out pre-screen or either the promotional block number is 888-567-567. 8688. That's a promotional block number. Everybody should call it. Put it on your children's social security number. Even though they won't enter the business until 18, go ahead and put a promotional block on now. 888-567-8688. That's going to get you a promo block. Yeah. Take you off the list. Opt out of pre-screening. Cut off all that junk mail. We're going to have a credit package as well. Yeah. Uh, so stay with us right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, we're going to do an offer for the first three listeners for uh, William Crowley's credit package. And also coming up, we got Alex Lima as well, Black Belt Fitness uh, in Martial Arts. And also talking about self-defense here uh, today on the Consumer Quarterback Show, defending both your finances and uh, your body and your, your family. And we have a feel-good story of the day. Divers set world record for cleaning trash from ocean floor. Right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. In- This is the Cannabis Podcast, powered by True Leave on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes.
listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Check out PlatinumMVPTeam.com for details. Uh, we would love to help you buying, selling, or investing. Uh, we're going to help you win in your negotiations. We're going to help you to win uh, with the best deals in the Tampa Bay market. We actually put together a list of the best buys uh, for each zip code in Tampa Bay. So if you have interest in that, you're looking in the marketplace, uh, find out what our research has shown as the best opportunities uh, dollar per square foot wise uh, in each micro market because real estate is so local. Each market is a micro market, and it's important that you team up with the best uh, agencies here in Tampa Bay. Keller Williams, number one real estate company in the world, Platinum MVP team.com this segment is brought to you by the lucky deal restaurant our official restaurant partner of the consumer quarterback show is the lucky deal they've got a deli new york city bar brooklyn bakery catering banquets and much more home of the sandwich that ate brooklyn and they're much more than sandwiches there they've got great entrees uh soup salads uh, excellent wide variety on the menu one of the largest menus i've ever seen uh lucky dill deli.com online at lucky dill deli.com or uh, right here in tampa on boy scout boulevard they've got a great location and they've also got a location in palm harbor uh the lucky dill restaurant the official restaurant partner of the consumer quarterback show a uh, hot listing here up in newport richie 9950 hilltop this is a, a property that has nine acres and what we're doing is we're actually splitting the home off uh, we're taking 2.3 acres uh, on the home and we're going to list that at 199 and we have the other seven acres listed at ninety nine thousand dollars. what a great opportunity here uh, beautiful tampa bay 9950 hilltop drive newport richie so we got a vacant land opportunity any builders developers out there entrepreneurs someone maybe that wants to just have uh, build a house and have no neighbors surround them for uh, a couple acres away and uh, also just a great opportunity for a single family home uh, family ready to go move in ready clean home uh, at 9950 hilltop drive newport ritchie florida and a couple of hot listings here in tampa bay also silton peace is a property we just listed in riverview this property it's uh, just a great opportunity as a gated community 12404 silton peace drive and that's in riverview now right on a pond and it's a spacious four bedroom home bright with plenty of storage and a pond view and great opportunities in the community as well there's a park playground swimming pools and tennis courts check out platinum mvp team.com Alex Lima's in the house, uh, an Yay. accomplished fighter, an accomplished fighter. He's, he's a champion in his own right. Black Belt Fitness is the name of his company. It's not only the name of your company, uh, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts, but it's it's the way that you do business. It's the way that you train. Yeah, I try to, um, you know, I emphasize that it, it truly isn't just a business. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. So yeah. the Black Belt lifestyle, so it's more than just working out. I mean, it's the way we treat each other, the amount of, you know, kind of like a modern day samurai, like your respect, your honor, integrity, things that I personally feel are lost a lot yeah. in today's society that just, yeah. they're not there. You know, it really is. Taught. With the mm -hmm. rise of the internet and the ability to send an instant message or to, you know, to, to comment on somebody's post with some negativity. We're so you know. detached. We're yeah. so detached from each other. I mean, you see it, you know, you go out to eat and a family of, you know, six people are together. There's maybe one or two of them conversing while everybody else is on their phone or something like yeah. that. So when you go out and train in like a group environment, especially what we do that's so hands on and you have to work with a partner, yeah. you get a bonding experience out of it too. Right. You know, so it's even better when it's family training together, but yep. you become a family too through training. You know? Yeah, it's really cool. You know, and just the ability, I, I sometimes tell a story, you know, you know, as, as, as an eighth grader, I got into USA Wrestling, and then going into ninth grade, I kind of finally hit, uh, you know, a bit of a growth spurt going into my sophomore year. Yeah. Uh, but I believe a combination of just being a little bit bigger, and it's so much, it's such an impact when you're in those adolescent years, you know, but but learning how to grapple, learning how to, like, who cares if the guy's 40, 50 pounds bigger than me, I know how to control my hands, I know how to take him down, I can take him to the ground, I know I'm pretty confident, just the level of confidence that you're able to grab as an adult as a, a, an adolescent when you learn some of these skills yeah absolutely especially when it comes to grappling um because when it comes to striking obviously if you're in a power but you're in a power battle with someone that's bigger than you mm -hmm. when it comes to grappling you can kind of nullify that you know you take mike tyson down to the ground he can't create the torque and punching power that he can yeah. when he's standing you know 
So there's an interesting meme of like a really small like grappling practitioner and a really big one facing each other. Yeah. And like the average person would look at that that giant and be like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then yeah. a, a skilled grappler is gonna look and go, all right, interesting. Yeah. You know, love let's it. play now. I always know? thought that would have been such a cool thing to see is is Mike Tyson. Do, transition do, yeah, something like that transition into some mma and, and fighting some guys yeah, yeah or like know, a manny knows? pacquiao you know the great athletes like that but they're such yeah. specialists you know yeah. to do it now would would be harmful to their their image because they're specialists in that but, exactly um, there's a, like there's a great bottom if you're familiar with a lomachenko sounds familiar Basil lomachenko the guy's a beast if you guys get a chance wow. to check him out but he actually Basil lomachenko wow um, and he is, he's probably the, one of the nastiest boxers I've ever seen, <laughs> but he also has a grappling background. He has a Sambo background. Wow. So he would be good to transition to like mixed martial arts because yeah. he has, he's played a little bit in that world already. So right. it's not completely foreign to him. Yeah. You know, yeah. so some athletes can do it. They can cross over. Yeah. That's but interesting. Like, I don't know if you guys remember when uh, James Tony tried to do a, a UFC fight, the boxer James Tony. I remember Tony. that yeah. a little bit. It was yeah. absolutely horrendous. Pull out about really. racquetball then. Uh, yeah. Racquetball, yeah, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, with a good transition. With the right coach, we can, uh, we can get it happening. Yeah. For sure. I'll tell you what, racquetball is a bit of a workout. I, oh, I've no been doubt. playing with him. No doubt. You need yeah. footwork, hand eye coordination. I believe yeah. in cross training different sports. 100%. Absolutely. You know, and mm -hmm. that's a big that's a big point. By the way, if you just joined us, I'm Brandon Bryan for talking with Alex Lima, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts. We've got William Crowley in the house as well uh, credit restoration expert uh, when, when i look back to to training and when i've been in the best shape obviously football and you know weight training when i was in that regimen and i had to run the the 16 110s yeah. you know every day at the end of the practice uh, but you know going into life when you have to start balancing family and kids and, and business uh with that i, I love the idea of, of boxing one day you know the next day you know yeah. who, who likes to be on a treadmill right yeah you know? but mixing it up you know doing yeah. some boxing Keeps doing it the next day playing exciting. some football yeah exactly it's easy to be motivated to train when it's exciting to you yeah you know yeah. but i think what, what a lot of people um rely too much on motivation to mm -hmm. get them through their training and achieving their their body goals when really it's discipline that's going to get you through yeah Discipline right. will take you much further than motivation because I don't care how motivated you are. We're not always on fire like that. Yeah. You know, we're not always motivated 100% of the time. Yeah. So you have to be disciplined on yep. those days that you're not motivated to keep, come in and do that work anyways. Yeah. By the way, the definition of discipline is the ability to make yourself do what you should do, whether you feel like it or not. And too many times people let Absolutely. their feelings get in the way or other people's feelings on why they should or should not do something. And motivation. You know, the root word of motivation is motive. You know, what's your motive behind it? Sure. And I know you talk to people about that as well, finding your why. Absolutely. You have you have to have a why. You have to have a purpose. But even more important than that, you have to constantly be able to remind yourself of your why. Because mm -hmm. we can easily lose track of our why. We, how many people do you know start something that they're, oh, they're super motivated for the first couple of weeks, first couple of months? Yep. Especially when you're an entrepreneur starting your business. You're fired up because it's exciting to you. Yep. But you have to have the discipline to keep going even on those months and days when your business is not doing so well. Yeah. You know, to keep it going, to make it thrive in the long run because it's a marathon, not a sprint. One, one thing that I got from uh, Tony Robbins, I'm wearing his business yeah. mastery shirt, by the way, is incantations. And I've been using them for years. Even mm -hmm. Les Brown, one of my favorites is Les Brown, too. But the incantations, you know, when you have those days, you know, you, you're getting beat up on the phone with sales. You know, you get so many no's in sales, and you're just looking for that one yes, because that one yes could be a ten fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 deal in the sure. real estate world, right? Mm -hmm. But the things that have really helped me through the years is having those incantations ready. And then it's, it's when I wake up or when I'm, you know, doing whatever. Or walking from some pl one room to the next, or I take a time out during the day, and I'd literally say my incantations to myself. Sometimes, uh, not as much verbally, but even in my mind, I'm just, yeah. just going through them in my mind. Develop those incantations; it really helps a lot. I'm a firm believer in that. I'm a firm believer in affirmations. Uh, you yes. know, when, when I compete, um, I actually have things that I listen to and little like meditations and things that I go through, and even during a fight. Um, yeah, I have these things that I'm saying to myself inside of my head, yeah. whether I'm winning or if I'm on the, the downside of, of this battle here. I have little things that, that I say to myself. I can't repeat some of them, but, yeah. <laughs> but I have yeah. things that I say to myself to be like, yo, you better get up. Let's keep going. Yeah. You know, this isn't over yet. Because how much of, of fighting or competition when it comes to martial arts is how much of it is the physical game versus the mental game? I always say it's it's, it's eighty percent mental, twenty percent physical. Yeah, it's an eighty twenty principle. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if you're, you know, some things I've been doing, you you point out to me as a, as a great coach, you teach that is, you know. I'm not breathing enough in certain you know moves and, and things like that and that's right there if you're not breathing enough you're not getting the right oxygen in your body's not gonna perform optimal well and you can't think properly either you're right. not mentally in sync you're not getting proper oxygenation and perfusion to your brain in order for you to function at a high level yeah 
you know yeah, and i think that's that's a challenge that i've noticed you know with myself just picking up training and you know sometimes you get too much into the action and you're not doing the simple thing of breathing you know the subconscious everyone, thing right everyone does that even at yeah. the fighters at the highest level you know yeah. i even have to remind myself and that's what where a good coach comes into play because they're gonna yeah. they're looking from the outside in because you may think man i'm killing this yeah but i i see you i know you can be doing better but well, we come back from break i want to ask your top five mma fighters of all times <laughs> i want to set you i'm gonna give you some time to think about all that right. one william do you you follow mma I might ask you no, too. I, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> racquetball, maybe. So there you go. All right, give me your top five racquetball teams of all time. All right, right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, we come back more from our expert contributors. We got William Crowley in the house, the credit magician. We're going to talk more about credit improvement, identity theft prevention, and recovery. And also Alex Lima, black belt fitness and martial arts. And our feel good story of the day Diver sets Divers set world record for cleaning trash from ocean floor. Follow us online at Brandon Rhymes One on Instagram. And of course, our podcast out there and our YouTube channel. We'd love to connect with you there. All right, we'll be right back after the short break. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend Brandon Rhymes. Do not touch that dial. I'll come right through the radio and grab your throat. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. This is the Cannabis Podcast, powered by True Leave on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in tampa bay online at consumerqb.com all right welcome back thanks for sticking with us brandon rhymes here consumer quarterback show powered by the platinum mvp team 
at Keller Williams Realty. This segment is brought to you by Brothers Easy Moving, the official moving partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Brothers Easy Moving. Whether you're planning a local or long-distance cross-country move, Brothers Easy Moving can take care of you. And I can tell you from first-hand experience that they are a first-class organization. They do a great job. 4.6 rating on Google, 4.5 on Yelp, A rating from the Better Business Bureau and Angie's List. Reach out to Brothers Easy Moving for all of your moving needs. And uh, Brandon Rhymes here inviting you to Tampa Bay's largest speed networking event, 2.0. This is the second version of this event that we're doing at the Verizon Event Center on the 27th, 627, 6 p.m. at East Bay Drive in Largo. Now, we're going to have catered food from Amici's Cater Cuisine. Bartender is going to be pouring some drinks at Spunky Spirits Bartending Services. And this is a free event. It's an opportunity for you. This is something we do kind of pro bono to uh, help all of the business owners that listen to our show and in and, and our network uh, to come on out and, and just reach out. And, and uh, we'd love to help you here, make some connections. If you show up early, we can invite you or we can uh, you know personally make some connections there. Eventbrite.com. You have to register on Eventbrite.com. We've had 142 uh, people register so far. So we've got a few slots left. And that's going to be a great Great event on the 27th, Thursday, the 27th, 6 p.m. at the Verizon Event Center in East Bay Drive in Largo. And the benefit is for the Children's Cancer Center. Kind of come on out and party with a purpose for, with us. And it's going to be benefiting the Children's Cancer Center and a great cause. They do a great job. All right, back here in the studio helping you win. We got William Crowley in the house, credit restoration expert, uh, aka the credit magician, Alex Lima as well, black belt fitness and martial arts uh, here in studio. A couple of hot properties for uh, this segment here. We got 223 South River Hills Drive. This one is in Temple Terrace. This is a large home on the river. It's on the Hillsborough River, almost a half an acre in the heart of Temple Terrace and a large executive style home, five bedrooms, two and a half baths, single family home on a conservation lot on the river just a great lifestyle to be uh living on the tampa bay river there the hillsborough river 207 coronado drive clearwater this is a commercial asset that we have for sale 3.3 million dollars on the beach right close to the pier 60 it's a 5500 square foot uh opportunity uh, land opportunity here across from the wyndham grand uh here in beautiful tampa bay hot listings at platinum mvp team.com Okay, so William Crowley's in the house. Uh, we talked a little bit about how you can put a promotional block, get the list, uh, get your name taken off that list. And, and I think that's going to opt you out of the pre-screening, but it's also going to eliminate a lot of that junk mail that comes to your mailbox too, right? Right, right. But that's not that's not what I'm concerned about. <laughs> that's not the main thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The junk mail, sometimes the junk, junk mail can be beneficial. You know, you got some good uh, benefits in there. Some but, coupons and stuff. But, yeah, we just don't want it. We want to lessen people's visibility to the, for the credit reporting agency so they can stop marketing your information like, you know. They're right. giving us a kickback and like they're letting us know. If they're letting us know who they're sending it to, that'd be one thing. But you know, you have no idea what you, what your information is doing out there. Right. So everybody should have a promotional block on the credit report. Uh, the credit reporting agencies should be promoting this, but they're not. Uh, I guess it would be kind of uh, ironic for them to do it anyway. Yeah. You know, it'd be counterproductive. But yeah, and then there's other other uh, venues of this credit that people should be aware of, and that is like, for instance, collections on people's credit reports. And how this stuff comes off your credit report using the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Remember, it's legal. It's legal when, when you're doing this. A lot of people think it's unethical. It's yeah. uh, illegal to have negative information removed off your credit report. And that's, you know, we, we talked about physical health there. We want to be financially healthy as well. That's you know? right. Yeah. And so may, uh, oxygen in the brain. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's Take a deep breath. Breathe through the nose. Yeah. Make sure it gets into the lungs. That's right. And then uh, become fiscally responsible as well. So know your consumer rights, not so that you can abuse it, but, you know, like life happens. You know, That's things right. happen, mishaps happen, so we can help to overturn those circumstances. Now, using the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Fair mm -hmm. Debt Collection Practice Act, aspects of the universal Foreign Commercial Code, mm -hmm. familiarize yourself with how the economy works, how money works, how, how it can best benefit you. Mm -hmm. So when these hiccups do happen, you can legally have this information removed. Now, you may not get everything removed. I tell people all the time. When you're doing the credit repair or credit restoration, the credit reporting agencies are investigating themselves. Mm -hmm. Legally, you sh everything should be removed in the first 30 days. Mm -hmm. But, of course, I have to extend my program for six months to 12 months most of the time because we're going back and forth with the credit agency yeah. when they know they've broken the law. Mm. But we have to convince them that they broke the law no the fair credit reporting act tells you what you need to do we're citing codes of the fair credit reporting act now 
adhere to it. Mm-hmm. But since they're investigating themselves, they give you the runaround. So I found that the more persistent we are as a consumer with issuing these right, these uh, violations to the credit reporting agencies, the more they'll take you seriously. But if you just throw in one cycle of disputes and then forget it, yeah, the credit reporting agency is going to say, great, we don't, we don't have to do this work because they have to do it free of charge anyway. So you got to dispute it. you got to follow up with it, it's just like anything in life, right? Right, right. you got to right. you you know, inspect what you expect, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And so with the Fair Credit Reporting Act, been there since 1970. These are laws that protect consumers against the abuses. Now, the, I mentioned earlier collections. A lot of times people think, like I had speaking at a church the other day, and the pastor kind of thought that I was, uh, teaching people to be irresponsible and and to, you know work the, work the system over, but what sure. I was telling him is that look, collection accounts are a result of an original creditor charging off a debt. Okay, right. and I get in arguments with bankers and lenders all the time because they say you should pay a collection account. I say never ever pay a collection account, but never ever ignore the collector. Mm. Okay, issue a validation of debt to the collector. The original creditor charges the debt off. The collectors buy the debts for pennies on the dollar. When the original creditor charges a debt off, it releases all parties of any financial responsibility to the debt. The collectors, in turn, buy the debts for pennies on the dollar and come after our clients and try to get them to pay. And we tell our clients, don't ignore the collector, mm-hmm. but don't pay them. Issue a validation of debt. That validation of debt letter is going to demand the original note. They don't have the original note. Hmm. But if you don't demand it, then you're letting them off the hook. So I, th- I thought I recalled like last one of the last shows you were on, mm-hmm. uh, you you said whenever they give you a call, uh, what you should do is say. Violation, violation. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's the opposite, right? That's no. <laughs> He's laughing too hard. He's laughing too hard to talk. But no, that was a joke we had last time. But so it's a you good gotta point. Be good on that one. <laughs> I was gonna go into this dissertation and then you shoot out that crap. <laughs> No, no, not by Felicia, for no, sure. No, not that one. <laughs> okay. No, but if, if the collectors do call you, and we encourage them to call you when they when you come into our program, yeah. tell them to send it to you in writing, and then you'd be more than happy to settle the matter. Just say okay. you'd be more than happy to settle the matter. Don't tell them you're going to issue a validation of debt, because then they won't respond at all. Ah, but it's a dead okay. matter at that point, though, right? Yeah, when, when the original credit. creditor charges yeah, it off. they've written it off. Yeah, yeah. they've yep. written it off. Yeah. That's what it means. Written, written off, charge off, but the lenders are swept up and down. They're oh, telling yeah, they'll try to get you. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know, you gotta, you got to pay their collections. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, they don't. Because they're reading off a script at a call bank. Yeah, right? yeah that's, that's exactly what they're doing. What they're doing. Right. Yeah. yeah, if you yeah. just joined us, Brandon Rhymes here. We're talking with William Crowley, uh, the credit magician in the house. we got Bob Alex Felicia. Lima as well, <laughs> Black Belt Fitness in studio. So before the break, I, I kind of teed yeah. you up with a, with a hard question there. It's I super difficult hard question because I tell you that I go through phases. Uh, and to be honest with you, as far as like a mixed martial artist, there's yeah. only one person that I really think is like the epitome of mixed martial arts that I think yeah. has had the greatest influence. Yeah. Other than that, I focus on specialists. Like mm-hmm. I like who's the best at Dutch style kickboxing, who's the greatest at jujitsu, who can implement that style of game yeah. against a mixed martial arts situation because that's a true specialist. Yeah. But as far as my number one pick, most people wouldn't even know this person's a mixed martial artist is Bruce Lee. Ah, okay. He was the, uh, for, in my opinion, he's the godfather of mixed like martial God, that's arts. That's what I was about to say. He was the first one to put it all together. If, if you guys rewatch, I don't know the last time you watched Enter the Dragon, but if you yeah. rewatch Enter the Dragon opening scene, hmm. he's in a mixed martial arts fight and he actually wins by armbar. Wow! Before they in the in the temple like with the monks and stuff that he's fighting with, he uh, he wins by that. armbar. Yeah, it's great. That's cool. And wow. he's wearing like like the uh, uh, the boxing gloves, but they have the fingers, so he's able to punch and grapple. So it's like mm. it's your first depiction of like what the UFC would eventually. Now become. was that a movie or oh. was that a re- real deal fight? That was a movie. So okay. that was that was fictitious. But okay. uh, if I read his book years ago. It's called The Tao of Jeet Kune Do, which is the way of his fighting style. Mm. And. Um, it's it's a complete manual. It's it's dated, mind you, because it was written mm-hmm. in the you know seventies or yeah. whatever. But it's a complete manual of mixed martial arts. He was the wow. first person to be like, you have to know how to box, you have to know how to wrestle, you have to know how to kick, you got to know all these things. Wow. He used to uh, stretch. I've read a lot, a lot on him, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, he used to stretch watching Muhammad Ali fight footage. Wow. And his wife would walk in and be like, Why are you watching this? He goes, In case I ever have to fight him one day. Wow. So he would study his movements, and you watch how Bruce Lee wow. does that little back step. He moves just like Muhammad Ali. Like, yeah. He was studying. He was the first person to study the, the bigger picture. You know, wow. it's impressive. It's yeah, that's impressive. really cool. And yeah. and and then you you have different like sports, for example, as time goes by and the defenders learn how to defend. Yeah, you you have these uh, natural progressions and uh, transformations. For example, back in back in the day when I was playing ball. Uh, you, when you threw a fade route, you'd throw it to the front shoulder. Now they're throwing these back shoulder fades, which is virtually 
you know, there's no way to really defend that as a, de- as a cornerback, yeah. as a defensive back. Sorry to the folks out there that don't understand the, yeah, the lingo, lingo here. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. yeah, so we're talking with Alex Lima, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts here. And, uh, yeah, a, lo- stuff, a lot man. of, I don't know if people know this too, but a lot of football players now in the NFL college level, mm-hmm. high school even, um, during the off season, they're training mixed martial arts. They're doing jujitsu and wrestling to learn how to hand fight. Because yeah. how do you break through that line? How do you yeah. get the offensive line and defensive line? That's they right. hand fight. They battle with each other to break through. It's oh, the same yeah. as getting through to break through the hands that you know score a takedown. Yeah. So they they right. they've recognized the cross training. Push on one shoulder, yeah. expecting them to push back. Off balancing. And, and when yeah. they do, you kind of let it sure. go. Yeah. That's it's a big. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It is cool. I like that. Yeah. All right. When we come back, more from our expert contributors. We also have our feel good story of the day. A diver set world record for cleaning trash from ocean floor. That's a great feel-good story for you here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Stay with us. Do not touch that dial. We'll be right back after this short timeout. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Ian Beckel. This is the Cannabis Podcast, powered by Leaf on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at consumerqb.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813 670 7372. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Buying, selling, or investing, we would love to talk to you. And uh, every day we're going to tell you something positive here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. we got a feel-good story of the day coming at you right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Tell me something good. 
right, so divers set world record for cleaning trash from the ocean floor. More than 600 scuba, scuba divers set a new world record by scooping up trash from the ocean floor on Saturday. 633 divers picked up litter from the ocean floor, uh, seafloor near Deerfield Beach International Fishing Pier in Florida. The record was overseen by Guinness officiator Michael Empick, who flew from New York to do the official head count. Divers had to stay in the water for at least 15 minutes to count towards the record. It is still not known exactly how much trash was collected, the Sun Sentinel reports, but diver and enthusiast R.J. Harper reported that divers collected 1,600 pounds of lead fishing weights alone. Obviously, trash uh, was collected, but the beauty of it is with 633 divers, we were able to do a very thorough cleaning, Harper told the news outlet. The previous report from most divers taking part in an underwater cleanup was 614 in a dive organized in the Red Sea in Egypt in 2015. It doesn't matter, here's a quote, it doesn't matter what happens today with the Guinness World Record, said uh, Imperic. Uh, what really matters is that everyone is out there cleaning up around the pier and trying to improve the community. Feel good story of the day, man. That's awesome. That I is like that. awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. You see that? Can you put that picture back up there? There That's was a. Cool. Uh, it looked like there was a wheelchair there for one of the mm -hmm. divers in the very front there on the oh, right. Oh wow! So oh, even even uh, someone who was had some sort of disability was out there hitting that as well. That's that's awesome, man. Yeah, they put that team together. That's wow, amazing. what a super cause, man! Diving down to the bottom. Yeah, there. I quoted on the show a couple times too. There was there was a group that went to the deepest part of the ocean, and I don't think it physically a human went down there, but they must have sent some kind of machine. Yeah. But they found these new species of crustaceans, but they also found candy wrappers down there. Oh, <laughs> candy. The bottom, at the bottom, the deepest ocean. floor of the ocean that they've ever been, yeah. And they wow. found this new species of crustaceans, but they also found Maybe they evolved wrappers. from maybe, the candy wrappers. Yeah, maybe, maybe they came from the candy wrappers. wrappers. <laughs> Who knows? That's awful, though, man. It like, is. We, we do, as a, as a species, as a whole, need to take yeah. better care of our planet. I mean, Big we, time. we do only have one, you know? Big time, Let's man. Take care well, once we start taking care of ourselves, I think we start taking hey, care of it. Hey, it goes hand in hand. It goes right. hand in yeah. hand, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. So uh, we got William Crowley in the house, uh, the credit man uh, here in Tampa Bay, helping you improve your credit, avoid identity theft. Uh, we got Alex Lima as well, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts. Uh, William, I wanted to ask you, when it comes to identity theft, man, I, I think mm -hmm. people don't really understand the impact of that. And I want to give your credit package away here in a moment. But uh, when it comes to identity theft, you've seen this up front and personal with some of your clients, correct? Well, actually, no. Most of my clients, I don't get to see them. I, I tell them on the radio and elsewhere when I'm speaking, mm -hmm. listen, don't come to me if you're a victim of identity theft. Just mm. file a police report. Oh, okay. And take care of it like that. So most of the people I don't see, I'm sure there's, there's, you know, it's, it's a large amount. Oh, yeah. But I tell them if the, the information does, in fact, belong to you, that's when you come and see me. Okay. But if it doesn't belong to you, you don't need to come see me. Just file a police report. Save uh, yourself the money. Okay. It's crime, yeah, it's different. Yeah, and once they do, there, there's probably going to be you know lots of money spent dealing with it, dealing with the issues, and and kind of recovering the the ID. Yeah, yeah, uh, but if you file a police report, that expedites it because you know you're legally letting the credit reporting agency know, look here, I've I've pursued the authorities here. Yeah, police, you know the police department has given me a report, so they okay. can vouch for my character, saying the listen, this information is true. Right. So now you have to remove it according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Now here's the information. Remove it because I've been a victim of identity theft. Okay, you know, and a lot of a lot of credit repair companies masquerade. They they have you filing fictitious uh, uh, theft reports, hmm. and I tell people, no, don't do that. Don't mm. do that. I mean, because it's it's just as simple to get the information off legally. Right. Yeah. If you're a victim of identity theft, that's you know that's cool. You know, it's a wash. But with yeah. the credit reporting agencies, you can use the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So yeah, the stuff does. It does belong to me. Mm -hmm. But the credit reporting agency didn't follow the steps of the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Therefore. I want these designers removed. Yep. I want this tax lien, late payment, judgment, or whatever. And I've heard it said also that 99.9% .9 of all credit reports have at least one type of an error. Yeah, and I say 100%. Yeah. Everybody's got an error on their credit There's report. something wrong. Everybody, it's just so yeah. much data. And to make sure you understand error. Now, error mm -hmm. means the information that does, in fact, belong to you. That's an error, yeah. <laughs> you know, because they did not follow the law when they put it on there. Yes. So that's yeah. an error. All right. Well, let's offer this credit package out to the first three Thanks. listeners. If you want to text the word credit uh, to our consumer advocate hotline, 813-670-7372. Just simply text the word credit uh, to 813 670 Seven three seven two, and we're going to text you back with you know what's your name and email, but that'll get us started. We're going to hook you up with William Crowley, the.
the credit magician, and he's going to he's going to help you out with his credit package. He's going to teach you how to opt out of pre-screening, uh, cut off a lot of that junk mail coming to your mailbox. Uh, it's going to help you uh, learn how to get on that promo block, obtain a free credit report, and just uh, have an opportunity to talk with William Crowley, the credit magician, 813-670-7372. Number. All right, and we're going to hook you up with that credit package. All you have to do is reach out for that. And uh, I want to go back to Alex Lima here, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts. What is a call to action or someone, you know, where you want people to reach out or maybe to come in and, and train with you? What, what, what type of uh, referrals are you looking for out there? Um, I mean, anybody and everybody. You know, we mm-hmm. I train everyone. I've worked with uh, athletes. I've worked with pro fighters. I've worked with a lot of people don't know. I've, I've worked with handicapped people as well. Mm. We just did um, uh, last month. We did something with Gigi's Playhouse, which is a, a center for uh, adults and children with uh, Down syndrome specifically. Yeah. But I've worked with deaf people. I've worked with people in wheelchairs, disabilities. Like I see no limits as to who can come and train. Like you see, even if you come in with some sort of injury or something, we can train yeah. around your injury. Right. Everybody can experience this this lifestyle and enjoy these things. They can yeah. learn some self defense methods and also have a good time getting a sweat on training differently because you see we yeah. don't train like you do like when you go to like a commercial gym you, right you do some wild stuff yeah it's you know? fun but uh, it's functional it's all functional training so anyone you know that you can call us 813-426-1588 you can look us up online black belt fitness and martial arts club uh, we also have a group on going on that's a great deal i think it's like 19 dollars for an entire week of training, you can come to everything that's on our schedule. Wow. Um, or I believe for $49 uh, for my adults, we have two weeks of training mm. and you get a private lesson for that. Wow. That's a ridiculous price. You're not yeah. going to find that anywhere else. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And um, let's jump into our lightning round. The lightning round. I am so good at lightning rounds. I majored in lightning. All right, let's do some top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. William Crowley, the credit man. Remember now, credit reporting agencies really, I mean, credit repair companies don't actually raise scores. What they're doing is that they're benefiting the score by removing the negative information. Your existing positive information is what's going to determine that new score. Mm, good stuff. Yeah. I like that. So get, the, get the score increased. By removing the negative information off your credit report. And no. your existing positive will raise that score. Because a lot of credit repair companies nice. say that they're raising a the score. Even my website. I hate my website, but it says raise our score, and I have to really explain Yeah. That. We, yeah. We're raising it, but we're raising it indirectly using using the, the force of the Fair Credit Reporting Act to ah. remove negative information. I like that. Yeah, staying positive or staying uh, current on the, those accounts are going to be a big impact. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Alex Lima, Black Belt Fitness. Uh, so I have two. Uh, so one would be be the change that you wish to see in the world. Yeah. I believe Gandhi said that. Yeah. And um, you know, where everybody talks about all the problems and stuff that we have in the world, and they piss and moan about it, but who's mm-hmm. really taking action? and doing something about it. It starts with you being the example, being some the type of person that this world deserves to have. Good people, yeah. taking care of the planet, things like that. That's right. Uh, my other tidbit of advice, kind of on the op- opposite side of the spectrum, is to eat clean, train hard, and don't let anybody take your lunch money. Yeah. You open up that can if you need to. I like that. Right. I like that. So when, when you say eat clean, yeah. what, what's some just general? I know there's so many different diets out there. There's so many different, uh, you know, Especially when it comes into the commercial space, people looking oh, yeah. to make money on this sure. type of diet, the Atkins diet. You know, cut out all your, uh, cut out all your carbs, but you can eat as much fat and protein. Like some of those things yeah. are just not good long term, right? No, they're not. And I mean, and that's great for a whole other segment one day to do just about diet and stuff alone. Yeah. But typically, like I don't prescribe like a set diet. I give people guidelines and protocols to follow when mm-hmm. I'm when I'm training people, um, because everybody is different. Yeah. You have different mm-hmm. nutritional needs for mm-hmm. your fitness goals than he would for, you know, doing racquetball and stuff like that yeah, versus wrestling. what I need for going for competition and things like that versus the person that's just trying to lose a little bit of weight because they have a wedding in June that they're going to go to. Right. You know, so, I mean, there's a wide spectrum, but basic stuff that we all know fried foods are not good for us. Mm-hmm. Too much sweets is not good for us. Too much alcohol consumption. Mm-hmm. If it comes in a box and it has a bunch of chemicals in it that you can't pronounce, you yeah. probably shouldn't be putting it in your body. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. simple stuff like this that people, we know a lot. We just don't take the action and and, app, and apply it. But yeah. part of that is maybe a lack of education on the sub, um, the subject matter. And, and that's where I would come in as a, as yeah. a coach to help guide you on that, that yeah, journey exactly. there. Yeah, even you know Tony Robbins even talks about, you know, a body cancer cannot survive in a body that's alkaline. I think that's I think that's so overlooked is uh, when you when you eat green leafy meals or Mm -hmm. or, or even carrots or, you know, they say eat from the rainbow. Right. Which is what we're intended to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when you eat those, it makes your body in an alkaline state to where 
the, those types of cancers, they cannot survive. And on the flip side, when you eat the cookies and the, the starches and all that, it's going to fuel It'll the cancer. It'll thrive in that, in that environment because it's a, it's a junk environment. It's a, yeah. it's a, you're a host now for, for it's acidic. toxins. And absolutely. That's right. Mm-hmm. So you're in an acidic state. Mm-hmm. So that's what's going to keep you, uh, you know, in, in the hospital in many cases. You know, people yeah. that can't uh, make yeah. those Short, changes. Shorten your lifespan, not a good quality of life. I mean, yep. there's a lot of repercussions. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So Alex Lima, Black Belt Fitness, currently located on Waters Avenue. 5638 West Waters Avenue. West Waters Avenue, mm-hmm. conveniently located right there, uh, just east of the Veterans Expressway. Yep. Uh, so he's got a great uh, uh, gym dojo. What do you call that? We call it the dojo, dojo. the training room, the yeah. dojo, yeah. Cool. Which is which is Japanese for training room. I like that. Yeah. I like that. William Crowley, the credit man. Yay. Can, he can he can come meet with you. You can meet with him at a at a you know lo, any kind of a Starbucks location or anything like that. Anyway, Make house want. calls. Go to your business. All right. Hey, good stuff, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, another great show today. Please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Pack up some food or clothing. Carry it with you to and from your commute. Hand it to that person that you see in need, and be a force for good in the community. Do something kind for one another. Uh, donate some blood. There's lots of ways that you can be a force for good in the community and uh, continue to tune into our show right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Follow us online at Brandon Rhymes 1 on Instagram and Twitter. The podcast out there is awesome. Some great content as well. We'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813- 670-7372 online at consumerqb.com and join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380 The Biz Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily 5 o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that want to join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications, and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you.